Today I'm going to talk about the treble section of the accordion and what it can do that many other instruments can't. Uh, and there are three main things in this discussion that will all come into play together, but the first thing is that the accordion is not a single pitch instrument. There are many instruments that are single pitch instruments. In other words, you can only play one pitch at a time. Uh, instruments such as the clarinet, the oboe, the bassoon, the trumpet, the trombone, uh, the, those instruments and, and many others, especially wind instruments, are instruments that can only play one note at a time. Uh, the accordion, however, uh, you can play one note, another note with it, a third note with it, so you have a chord. You can even play a four note chord. You can, you can play many notes together at the same time on an accordion, and uh, that's a nice feature. It also has 41 keys, uh, which basically take you from, uh, for, for just uh, about, uh, just a little over three octaves. It takes you from what's called F3, which is F in, in the third musical octave, to a6. Here's F3, here's A6 if you have the the middle set of reeds. Uh, so in addition to it being able to play more than a single note at a time or single pitch at a time I should say and having 41 keys I just mentioned reeds. That is the third feature of the treble section of the accordion that is very helpful in giving it a wide range and wide flexibility. Uh, many of the, most of the full-size accordions uh, have either three sets of treble reeds or four sets of treble reeds. The one that I have at the moment has four sets of treble reeds. Uh, if it, those, those reeds will either be, uh, the, they're frequently classified as low, middle, and high. The middle reed, which this one's set at the moment, is approximately the range uh, of the of pitches that you find in the clarinet, so it's frequently called the clarinet reed. Those are sounds that you could hear or pitches that you could hear from a clarinet. Uh, this, this one also has a high reed which puts everything one octave higher and it has a low reed which puts everything one octave lower than that middle reed that we started with. So if we start with the middle reed and we add in the, bas the bassoon reeds, and here's a middle reed and bassoon reed combination, we basically have a little over four octaves. And then if we add in also the piccolo reed, the high reed, you, the pitches you're hearing go all the way up to, uh, can go up to as much as uh, six octaves. So, or, or no, I guess I should say five octaves, but basically you can go from 41 pitches to 65 pitches by altering the reeds that are selected on a four or five uh, read accordion, and when I say four or five, that's four on the treble and five on the bass. We'll talk about the bass side later. Uh, so we've gone from considering this as a, a lot of instruments can just play a single note. This one can play uh, harmony, and it can play. By the way, the single note can be played just in one octave. You can also play it in a low and a middle, or a low and a middle and a high. So uh, basically, uh, I don't think there's any other instrument that by playing with one finger, you can get three pitches at the same time, three different octaves at the same time. Uh, and we can apply the same concept to harmony if we are playing some basically two notes that are harmony together and we put those also in the high read we get a slightly different sound and if we put them in the low read 
we now have we now are playing six pitches at one time. Okay, we can we can even go beyond that. Uh, if we're talking in terms of uh, chords, we can we can play a three note chord or a triad chord, the C chord for example, C, E, and G. We can play that in just one set of reeds, a middle set of reeds, a clarinet set of reeds, or we can also add uh, the let's add this time, let's add the high set of reeds and just a little brighter. The piccolo reeds, the high reeds are a little harder to hear, but when we go to what's called the master switch <clears throat> and we play all four sets of reeds, one low, two middle, and one high. The lows are called bassoons, the middle clarinet, and the highs piccolo. So bassoon, two clarinet, and one piccolo. You get a much broader sound. What we're actually playing here is three pitches in three octaves, a total of nine pitches. Uh, we can take that one farther if we wanted to play a seventh chord and we added the B, the B flat to that. There we're playing 12 pitches with just one hand. You cannot do that on any other instrument that I'm aware of with the possible exception of a piano, I, I mean, I'm sorry, with possible exception of an organ or certain electronic uh, keyboards or instruments. Uh, you, you, on, a, on a piano, you're kind of, you would be limited to uh, just being able to play that much of it. You could, you could play, that's basically the low read. And then add in the middle read. You'd be playing the middle with your right hand on the piano and the low read with your left hand, but you wouldn't have a third hand to be able to add in the high read, the piccolo read. So, and of course on the piano it's not a read at all, it's strings. But uh, you would not be able to add in those pitches of all three ranges uh, as you can on the accordion. So in a future uh, video, I will be showing uh, internally uh, how this works. I'll kind of show you the insides and outs of the treble side, how, how you get to that. But the thoughts that I want to leave you with are that uh, you, you really have to be able to play this, these pitches with a single reed instrument. You'd need 12 instruments uh, to be able to play them on the piano. You'd you'd need three hands. Uh, so the accordion has a, an amazing amount of flexibility, and particularly if it's an accordion with. Uh, low, middle, and high reeds on the treble side. Now we can add even more pitches to that when we do the bass side, but we will save the bass side for another video. Uh, I hope that uh, you'll ask questions in the comments. If there are other things that you would like to see uh, in future videos, uh, let me know. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe and, and, uh, and or come back to see the future videos because I'm going to be providing more information about what I think is an amazing instrument that's not as well understood today as it should be. So I thank you very much for watching this video and uh, hope to see you back here later. Thank you.